We've been talking about Zelda remakes and remasters, potential future new Zelda games, like a top-down Zelda game, for years. Oftentimes, there is some merit to the rumors, leaks, and reports. We got Link's Awakening Remake back in 2019, and there were rumors and leaks around that, an Unreal Engine project for Zelda. The Skyward Sword HD did actually release in 2021, and there was lots of rumors around that. We obviously know, new game-wise, Tears of the Kingdom did release this year. Now, earlier this year, Jeff Grubb said he heard something Zelda would be announced by the end of this year that wasn't related to Tears of the Kingdom. Dr. Serkin Toto also tweeted out ZR 2023 and then quickly deleted the tweet and deleted a former tweet in 2021 that leaked that Nintendo was about to announce a 2022 release year for Tears of the Kingdom, which Nintendo proceeded to do just that before delaying it to 2023 a year later. Of course, the Jeff Grubb rumor of a Zelda announcement was assuredly the Zelda movie, and he has publicly stated that he's pretty confident that was what his source was hinting at. Okay, so we can remove Jeff Grubb's rumor from the equation, but what about Dr. Serkin Toto? Sure, he's an industry analyst, and part of his job is to make predictions and projections to help investors make sound decisions, so a lot of what he says is often guesswork. But he also attends Nintendo investor meetings, and we can't ignore that he has leaked a Zelda-related announcement back in 2021, in the exact same way he dropped the ZR2023 tweet this year. Now, it's possible ZR2023 could be the movie, but the R doesn't really fit. There is no known title for said film, and we likely wouldn't get that title until a year or two from now. Even then, there is a good shot it may just be called The Legend of Zelda, especially if they are going with an original story. R isn't even in that title name. It's also possible a title, let's say there is a subtitle like the Lord of the Rings movies because it's setting up a trilogy, may not be decided yet either. The film did just enter production, though Miyamoto has stated publicly that they have been working on and at least discussing the movie for about a decade behind the scenes. So we can't entirely rule out the possibility of R being related to a title for the movie. But chances are the R was related to remake or remaster. Often the simplest explanation is the correct explanation. As we have seen with Mario this year, Nintendo is not afraid to stack multiple announcements for their largest IPs. Pokemon has been doing this for decades, and Mario post Mario movie has been delivering announcement after announcement in spades. Don't be shocked to see Mario Movie 2 announced publicly at some point next year, just to add more Mario goodness to the world. So what if Dr. Serkin Toto is actually talking about a Zelda remake or remaster to be revealed before the end of this year? When would they announce it? What game would it be? And beyond this, what does the possible roadmap of Zelda releases look like? Nintendo can drop the announcement of a remake or remaster really at any time. They don't need to do it at a Nintendo Direct, though that's usually the most likely place. They announced Fire Emblem Engage DLC at last year's Game Awards, and there is a real possibility Nintendo might have two games up for Game of the Year at said Game Awards in Super Mario Wonder and Tears of the Kingdom. To me, if it's announced this year, that makes the Game Awards the most likely place it could appear. Okay, so we have an event it could happen at, a rumor revealed this year from an industry veteran, so what could it be? We speculated in the past about Ocarina of Time. Of all the 3D Zelda games, it is the one most in need of an HD treatment or even a ground up remake. After all, they have now remastered every single 3D Zelda game and Aonuma recently mentioned he wasn't sure if people knew anymore who was the original Raru character. That's right, he doesn't think gamers know. That character originated in Ocarina of Time, though hey, shout out to Zelda 2, you did name a town, Raru. It makes sense this could be the next remaster or remake. And given the studios Nintendo has worked with in the past, and there are so many that can be tasked with bringing this to life, anything is possible. Grezzo did the 3DS version. Of course they could probably do a Switch version too. They have the experience already with said title. That's essentially the argument for that game to be the game announced. We also can't ignore Twilight Princess and the Wind Waker HD. 
Both would be relatively easy ports from the Wii U, where they never truly hit their full sales potential due to the lack of sales of said console. So many insiders have talked about these games for years, it's practically a foregone conclusion that they're already done for Switch and just sitting on a shelf, waiting to see the light of day again. Of course, plans may have changed the later into the generation we got, and it's possible they want to bring them back with some sort of new features to tout at this time. Things like a 4K resolution output, ray tracing, maybe 60 FPS, and for that we'll have to wait for Switch 2. Though if they did that, I would hope in the back of my mind they give that treatment to The Wind Waker, a game whose HD version most definitely stands the test of time, and then maybe shelve Twilight Princess for a more ambitious remake. Look, I can't help it. That Wii U tech demo for what could be still rests in the back of my mind and will probably always be there until we see them do something like it to an older game. Majora's Mask is certainly nice to think about, but that wouldn't be until after Ocarina of Time is done, unless they just HD'd both 3DS versions and gave us a twin pack, something similar that they did with like Pikmin 1 Plus 2 HD or Advance Wars Reboot Camp. Zelda though, that's a way more popular franchise and I can see them wanting to avoid combo packs. Again, Ocarina of Time just got called up again. That's what happens when its 25th anniversary is almost upon us. Sure, Zippo dropped a hint at it, though he's also doubling down on an animated Illumination Zelda movie after the live action one was just dropped, now saying it's not as far along, giving him, what, a 10 year window for that to possibly ever be a thing? Oh, Zippo, keep shifting those goalposts, buddy. But Ocarina of Time actually first appeared in rumors long before Zippo said anything. Game Rant had a conversation about this back in July of this year, mostly thinking it could use the Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom style to remake Ocarina of Time with some minor tweaks to make it fully open world. And I gotta admit, a few tweaks here or there, and yes, Ocarina of Time could realistically work as an open world game, increasing its appeal and sales likely beyond what was done with the original on the Nintendo 64. But that was just wishful thinking. First, we have the trademark renewal by Nintendo back in 2020. We talked about this last week, but it's a separate trademark from the ones that already existed for the game slash merch. And we still have no idea what that trademark was for. Could be anything. Two years ago, Game Over Jesse, good friend of the channel, put together some evidence that suggested something is in the works, specifically from Grezzo. We all know Grezzo's work, right? They handled Ocarina of Time 3D, Majora's Mask 3D, Link's Awakening, Miitomo, and they were the primary developers of Triforce Heroes. They have also made a lot of other games along the way for other platforms, with their most recent being a mobile phone release. But one consistent pattern is that they're always working on a new Zelda game, a remaster, a remake, and sometimes something more original like Triforce Heroes. Two years ago, they were hiring people for a medieval adventure game, which basically matches Nintendo's own job hirings for Zelda and matches prior hirings at Grezzo for Zelda games. Remember, Grezzo hasn't released a Zelda game on a Nintendo system since 2019, and they are a much larger studio today and working on many projects. Of course, this could literally be anything. It could just be an HDifying of the 3DS versions of Ocarina of Time Majora's Mask. Another popular theory and rumor also from two years ago is that they are working on an Oracle of Seasons and Oracle of Ages remake to Zelda remasters or remakes that have to release side by side, explaining the four year gap from Link's Awakening. It's possible with multiple teams, they are working on all of these projects. They have hired and expanded their team greatly from the Ocarina of Time 3D days. But naturally, anything official they are working on is under wraps. Also, hey, Tantalus did Twilight Princess HD. What if they're working on something? So to summarize, we have had ongoing rumors on Twilight Princess and Wind Waker HD for many years. From so many insiders, it's hard to name them all. We have Grezzo, who is always working on Zelda projects for over a decade, likely working on one given hiring posts from two years ago, who did work on Ocarina of Time, Majora's Master 3D, Triforce Heroes, and Link's Awakening. We have Aonuma saying he isn't sure people remember who the character Raru is anymore, originally, and he's dropped similar hints in the past for future releases. Maybe Ocarina of Time 3D in HD, or a full remake from the ground up, potentially to launch the Nintendo Switch 2. Cross-gen, maybe? Who knows? And don't get me started on if any of these games get announced at the Game Awards, 
and show colored buttons because we all know the rabbit hole that's all related to. So no, I don't know what is happening. I did reach out to my contacts, similar ones that gave me details on some of the marketing events for Tears of the Kingdom, but it's been radio silent. Could one Zelda remake be announced before the end of the year? Absolutely. Could they not be announced until next year? This is possible too, but let's play a game. Let's work on a weird assumption that all of the above is happening. We're getting either an Ocarina of Time slash Majora's Mask HD or remake. We're getting Wind Waker slash Twilight Princess HD or more. And we're going to see the Oracle games get a remake too. That all of the above are happening. So what release window and schedule would we give it? Heck, Alnuma slash Fujibayashi have already told us that a new Zelda game is in the works. Well, here's my predictions. Whether announced at the Game Awards or next year, I do think Ocarina of Time is arriving in 2024. It may be a cross-generation release, it could be a remake, it might just be an HD port of the 3DS game with some upgraded textures and lighting, I don't know. But I just have a gut feeling they are going to drop it next year. I think in 2025, we do get the Wind Waker 4K. As I said before, ray tracing, 4K textures, a few changes to the Tingle Bottle system, but it will be really good. Maybe they even find a way to bring the original Tingle Quest back to make it the most complete version of the game. In 2026, I do think they're going to announce their new Zelda game this year, but the games that are going to release this year will be the Oracle of Seasons and Oracle of Ages remakes. They will release them for $40 each or $70 in a combo pack, and they will be as impressive as, well, the Link's Awakening remake was in 2019. In 2027, well, it's time now. Let's get the Majora's Mask HD Whatever they did with Ocarina of Time, I guess. They do it again with Majora's Mask. In 2028, yeah, I'm really on the new Zelda game is launching this year mantra. Whatever the heck the Zelda team is working on. 2029, look, I don't know. Let's just throw Twilight Princess 4K in there. Or maybe they shock us with an actual remake of the game. Of course, these are just projections based on little but hopes and dreams but also with a smidge of reality in terms of Zelda releases. Nintendo has, for a while, liked to get a lot of remakes and remasters and spin-offs released between major Zelda title drops, and I don't think that's going to change as we head into a new generation. After all, Aonuma admitted before Breath of the Wild came out that Nintendo was asking him to get more Zelda games released. That means we may even have years with remasters and spin-offs in the same year. Who knows? In the end, we don't really know what's going to happen, but it is fun to think about. Give me your projection on what games you think are coming in what years, if any, down in the comments below. And you know what? Let's revisit this video, revisit your comments years down the road and see if any of us projected Nintendo correctly when it comes to what Zelda games they're releasing, when and why. Thank you for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next video.